Over the last few years, TaylorMade have dominated with their P790 iron lineup. Well, exciting times because they have just brought out a brand new version and they look pretty amazing. So back in 2017, TaylorMade brought out their first ever P790 irons. And to be honest, it kind of shocked everybody, including me. When I first reviewed the P790, I said they were one of the best irons ever made. And every two years, they've brought out a new version with very subtle changes. But the premise of the iron is the same. It's a distance iron, a forgiving iron, but for a really wide variety of different golfers, from scratch handicappers I've seen using P790s, all the way up to golfers with 20 plus handicaps can utilize and use P790s. And one of the reasons why I'm really excited about testing the new P790s, because it was only in the last few videos that I tested these, the Titleist T200s, and I thought they were incredible. And I compared them against the existing P790s. Well, we've got new ones. So in this video, we're gonna be going head to head again, seeing if the new ones are any different compared to the T200s. Because in my opinion, they're almost identical irons. Okay, looks first. Stunning. Really, really nice. Um, they've kind of gone for this brushed chrome this time, certainly for the majority of the head, with this shiny chrome section just cutting through the middle. Simplistic, not too complicated, and to be honest, quite timeless. Like, if we look back at all of the P790 lineup so far, as you can see, they've made slight cosmetic changes, but you can tell they all come from the same cloth like they're not they've not changed that much really good looking irons to be honest with you really are i mean they're not too chunky even behind the golf ball like this is the nine iron in hand top edge is a little bit of a of a juicier top edge but nothing crazy very little offset loft on this nine irons 40 degrees so i'm expecting this probably to carry about 155 Okay, first shot out the blocks. Not bad, I didn't strike it perfect. Came up a little bit shorter than expected. Felt nice though, let's hit a few more. Yeah, I didn't, definitely didn't strike that one as well. It's come short of the green. Mm, I feel like I definitely need to hit a few more shots here. Okay, first few hits with the P790s. I've got mixed thoughts so far. Um, they feel okay. They don't feel brilliant. Like, I don't know the, the sound off the head and that's a big talking point with this year's P790s. Internally, they've moved the center of gravity around all the way from the pitching wedge and each individual club, it's slightly changed to keep the sound of every single iron exactly the same throughout the lineup also helping with forgiveness and consistency i don't know what i think about the sound of that nine iron it didn't sound that great you know i've always been a huge fan of these irons from the previous models that one kind of had a little bit more of a of a clicky noise and certainly for the loft 40 degrees of a nine iron i easily expected to be carried on the green there at 154 155 yards and I've not done that. I'm actually, don't think I've hit the, I've maybe hit the green twice. Um, yeah, a bit of a weird one. I felt like off-centered hits definitely felt like there's a drop off in performance. Like sometimes when I hit it, I was like, oh, I've not quite struck, struck that, but I think it might get there. I was only carrying it like 142 yards. I'm just gonna hit two more. I feel like there's, I feel like there's the middle of the club that I've not quite found just yet. It's quite interesting, actually. I don't know if it's 
me reading into the the loft a little bit too much with it being a 40 degree nine iron i've moved the green there on the simulator to 160 yards presuming i was going to be carrying it around about early 150s let's have a look at the numbers because i don't feel like i'm getting anywhere close to that. okay so looking at the numbers average carry distance 146 yards ball speed 109 um spin rate was 7000 it's kind of it's a couple of things that are stand out for me there i felt like, definitely felt like the carry should have been further with this loft knowing about p790s i was expecting that to come out so much however because of the launch and the peak height as the ball was coming down it was stopping quickly and um, because the spin rate isn't probably high enough to get the ball to kind of really grab just on spin alone interesting feel wise got mixed thoughts i wasn't blown away by the feel which is really kind of confusing me because it's been so much of a fan of the previous p790 it just felt harder off the face a little bit more kind of clicky that sound really um let's move on to the seven iron next let's see if it can redeem itself in the mid irons You know what it is sometimes? I think when you put something on such a high pedestal, like I've believed wholeheartedly these have probably been the best irons that have been out on the market for the last few years, certainly catering for the widest amount of golfers. I think I'm almost expecting them to be magical in some way. <laughs> like the performance of 99 was okay, just wasn't blown away. 7i next, 30.5 degrees. And now from the 7i upwards, you get this speed pocket just underneath the face here. This helping with the kind of speed off the face, certainly on low strikes. The other big story with P790s, and again, when it first came out in 2017, everyone was like, what the hell is this stuff? Speed foam, where they inject a foam into the face, expands, so the hollow head gets filled with this speed foam, which helps with obviously speed, forgiveness, consistency, everything you want from an iron. And they've definitely worked in that capacity. Right, seven iron. Again, good shape behind the golf ball. I would probably say it's a little bit more boxy, to, certainly just on that top edge, but very little offset. They're a good looking iron. I can definitely see why different types of golfers from lower handicappers to higher handicappers could have these in the bag because they do certainly um, give a lot of confidence behind the ball. Oh, that's an interesting shot. That was a really low heely shot. Managed to get on the green somehow, but it wasn't a good one. That's a golf shot. That's really nice. Yeah, that that is the first shot I've hit in this review that felt brilliant. Like right in the middle, the feel off the face kind of that, that is what I remember of P790s. That felt really, really good. My big fear in the past, certainly these power irons, that they don't smash one 20 yards over the green when you don't want it to. Be interesting to see if that happens in this batch of shots now with the seven iron. That one felt really, really good. I'm also, as I mentioned earlier, I'm really interested to see what the numbers look like compared to the T200 irons. That was even better again. Slightly pulled it, but the strike on that was ridiculous. I feel like I'm starting to work out these irons a little bit more now on those last two shots. Better strike, much better flight. A little bit from the toe, that's annoying. Just to give you a bit of an idea of what a miss strike would do. It's still level with the green, but it definitely obviously moved around to that left side. Right. It's interesting there, the more I was hitting, the more I was kind of figuring out the patterns of these of these clubs. Um, whether it's the way how the club comes down. Uh, I, I definitely feel that there's a, a strong level of forgiveness on off-centered hits. 
couple there that hit towards the toe definitely move left but you get that with any toe shot the ones i struck in the middle that that's the p790 i remember like that's the feel that i remember yeah i, I think looks wise and stunning feel wise are really really strong I'm going to hit the T200 now from Titleist and just compare the numbers of the seven irons because I'm quite interested to see the difference if there is any. Okay, first on looks, just behind the golf ball, not as boxy as the P790s, slightly different look behind the ball. Let's see what the performance is like. That was a pretty good golf shot. <laughs> Straight out the blocks. Okay, interestingly there, we're gonna have a look at the numbers in a minute. I I hit the tightest irons better then. Overall, I hit them better. But let's have a look at the numbers. Diving into numbers there, it's very interesting. Um, if you just looked on Strath Carry, they're exact, identical, they're exactly the same. Same lofts, 30.5 degrees on the seven irons. And both the P790s and T200s carried exactly today, right now, those shots that I hit, bang on 180 yards each which is strong like i think in the review of the titleist t200s when i compared it against the previous model of the p790s i think the carry was a little bit further but different day i'm not, obviously not a robot wish i was anyway looking at the other numbers uh what's interesting for me there dispersion of the t200s was definitely tighter i definitely found my rhythm with the titleist irons more um not much difference apart from that the titleist had just over a mile per hour extra ball speed the titleist had more spin the titleist had more launch uh when you look at actually take the carry distance out of it just for a minute for me the titleist actually probably produced a slightly better array of shots in this test right now today live very interesting right let's move on to the five iron of the p790 so i'm really interested to that longer iron as well Okay, I'm going to hit some of the five iron now. 23.5 degrees. Um, the, the, my biggest takeaway so far with this new lineup of P790, I think cosmetically it's a facelift. Um, I think they do, in my personal opinion, I think they look better. I, they seem slightly more boxy behind the golf ball. Even, even the five iron here, and what I mean by boxy, that top edge just looks a little bit thicker and almost... It doesn't look as rounded. It looks more sharper on the edges. I'm sure that's a, a conscious effort of why they've done that, whether that's because of this new movement of CG inside the head. Um, overall, I still think they're a very, very good iron. Like I said, reserve judgment fully till I hit the five iron. But what I've found so far with the nine and seven has been strong. I just don't know if, like I say, I, I, I'm, I'm almost expecting too much from this P790 set more than what it can potentially offer. It's not a bad shot with a five iron, just a little bit to the right, 215 yard flag. That'll be interesting. I hit that really bad, like horrendously out the toe. And if it got to there on the golf course, I would be delighted because I promise you that was one of the worst strikes I've done in the whole in the whole time we've had this new channel. That was so far from the toe. Right, a couple more. <laughs> oh, lost it on these last few shots. I, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not convinced by these P790s. I feel like I'm I'm trying to somewhat convince myself from previous models. Like how much success I've, you know, how, how much I've raved about the previous P790s. I don't know, there's something missing. Doesn't quite feel the same. I mean, those strikes were pretty bad, but come on. Because, again, who this club is aimed at, it's aimed at a huge variety of golfers. I say tour pros have even had these in the bag before, up to 
brand new golfers would use P790s. I'm just not convinced this time round they're as forgiving as previous models. I'm not, I've said it. Try it yourself, definitely. Get out there and give them a go. But also consider if you see one of the previous models at a cheaper rate, it also might be worth giving them a hit as well. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, lots more to come. Make sure you subscribe to this brand new hit channel. Reviews every single week. We'll see you next time.